Welcome everyone, this is Weems from Grow Up and Game, and I have a chainsaw! You are watching the Satisfactory Early Access, and oh boy, did I get some work done since we last spoke. So, I've discovered a few things that have kind of changed how I'm approaching the game right now. One of which is in my hands right now, the chainsaw. I'm here in my lookout tower, and if you watched the bonus episode, you know that I kind of started setting up these little blocks here, but once I kind of got the rest of my factory chain set up, I was able to harvest quite a few more resources and get this a lot more built out, at least this base floor here. And you'll also notice that it looks pretty clean, and the reason being is this, chainsaw, this here chainsaw gives us superpowers. We have the ability to clear large brush, which is kind of a big deal because it really, really just opens up the map. So when I mean large brush, I mean like trees. Like you can't go up to this and hit E, but you take this chainsaw here and see you later. It's gone. So this really, really, really just is making a huge difference. Apart from getting the chainsaw, I was also able to kind of figure out a few tips and tricks I'm going to share real fast before we kind of head off to the main event here. Believe it or not, the main event will not be building. The main event is going to be exploring. But first, you'll see that I've got this copper production set up. It's currently off uh, because I want to save fuel. But you'll see here that... You know, it's got a whole chain of towers here and everything, and it's looking good to go. So all I gotta do is turn it on one at a time, right? Well, what happens when I try and do that? If I try and do that... Oh, oh! Fuse box goes off right away. That's because by the time this all goes, like, you can't... It, it can't... It doesn't have enough power to work fast enough. And if I go and try and rip this... There we go. So what this does... So you, what you have to remember when you're turning on all these biomass burners is make sure all of them are on. And all of them are connected to the node here. I had some difficulties with that where one would turn off and I'd turn the other on and off and go back and forward. But you can pretty easily manage this by just making sure they're all on when the fuse box is running. And then when you flip it back on or pull the fuse to basically turn on the whole circuit again it'll start running properly. So, this is producing a bunch of copper goods, essentially. I'm going to go ahead and actually leave this running. We're gonna go on a bit of a trip and we're gonna let, we're gonna let technology do the work for us. We'll restock it on fuel and we should hopefully come back and be loaded to the brim on these copper products. And while we're at it, we can probably turn on iron as well, right? Right now I've got them off, once again, to save fuel. But, yeah, might as well. I'm going to go ahead and flip these on again. So let's turn them on. And this should run. Or this should start running this. And you'll actually notice that, again, if you watch the bonus episode... Oh, wait, what do we got going on here? This should be running. Oh, it's not connected. That's right. I have the safety on. Let's take this, pop that there. Now it's running. Green lights across the board. I actually... So we were running into problems with the conveyor belt here, and basically, if you look into the Miner Mark 1 here, you'll see that... There we go. Now it's starting to produce, and it's actually producing faster than it spits out. It looks like the belt actually really can't move this out fast enough. There's no real backlog here. It's just, for some reason, there is just too much production and not enough ability to kick this out. So I went ahead and disconnected this fourth guy here because it wasn't really do adding any efficiencies. It was just kind of clogging, you know, it just was less efficient. So now if we look at these, right now it's at 100%, but as this kind of backlog starts to build up, these are going to start to go down. They'll rest around 67%. Which is fine. They're all operating above 50%. That's kind of my goal in the meantime until I figure out how to manage the inflow of resources a little bit better. And then 
last little bit of construction news is I actually moved the... Well, clearly, moved the hub and space elevator because they are now on this foundation. That's the word I was looking for. Move them onto the foundation. It's pretty easy to move them. I just took all of the, you know, materials out of the storage container here. Built a few more storage containers outside. Bang, boom. It's 100% resource return when you destroy something, so it really wasn't a big deal. And we'll get to the hub later, but right now I, I want to change gears for an episode. I want to go back to that cave that we were looking at... What was it, two episodes ago? Behind this little brush here is a cave. A little secret cave entrance. Of course, because I can't help myself. Bam! Yeah, look at that. It takes out just AoEs, all that brush down. You can still grab it with E. I'm going to go mow all this down, too. Boom! All right. Let's, uh... Instead of going and, you know, rapidly destroying the environment... Well, actually, before I do that, let's go put some stuff away here. Let's leave some room in our inventory so that we can, you know, actually pick things up when we're out. Because there is some interesting stuff to find in this game. Uh, you know, I've only touched, you know, I've barely touched a lot of it. And, you know, I, I want to make sure that I'm able to fully take advantage of anything we find out there. So that'll sort fine. Oh yeah, so we're already out of room on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and build another storage box here. And we'll put more of our biological materials here. I'll keep some bi basic building materials on me. You know, some of this foundational stuff. That way, in case I need to, you know, build something real quick while I'm out and about, I have the ability to do so. But without further ado, let's get my poke stick in my hand. And let's go see what's in this cave. I mean, I've gone and explored... You know, I did a few saves before this one. Most of them were very short. Just kind of checking out, you know, what's in the neighborhood. And, you know, you're in some interesting creatures. Some of them are pretty durable. Oh, boy. Alright, this is kind of creepy. Oh, shit. What is hitting me? I hear footsteps. And something's kicking my butt over here. So we have an invisible monster <laughs> of some sort in this cave. Oh, it's no, it's underground. All right, I need to get off the ground here. I don't know if that's a bug or it's supposed to be invisible. But I've had enough of it. Huh. You know what? Maybe for the time being, staying above ground is a good idea. That sounds like a great idea. Let's see. Do we have any more resources we can scan for? Oh, the... What is this? I feel like I saw it again. Yeah, there it is. I apparently can't hit it. This thing is chasing me around. All right, so we're going to have to uh we're going to have to lose this thing. I don't know if it knows how to climb. But maybe we can kind of lose it uh, on the foundation here. So I'm going to go all the way over here and hope that it doesn't chase me. I don't know if that's a bug or what. But either way, I am not a fan of it. Instead, Let's go over here. I don't know if I just opened Pandora's box with that thing. But we're going to keep moving this way. And actually, before we do that, we're going to make sure that we got our concrete factory running. There we go. Alright, it's producing. Good, because I'm going to need a lot of that. A lot, a lot, a lot of that. Yeah, so I'm curious to see how to handle that thing in the future. But 
that's not going to be the focus. Let's see if we can explore somewhere else. So we've got our, our home signal there, which is good. And yeah, just a bunch of open map now. And about half health, so that thing did a number on me. We need to pick up some more of these pale berries as we go. And I'm going to leave this here because I don't know if they grow back or anything later. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I might be able to harvest more with the chainsaw. But... And actually... Oh, so those... That, I know what that is. I remember you. wonder if I can chainsaw it. So this thing should start to unravel. Nope. Okay, can't chainsaw it. Let's move this way. Yeah, that should start to plume some smoke out soon, if I remember correctly. Nope, oh, nope, it went away. Okay, can't chainsaw that plant. Which is kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. But, we will live. The good news is that little ground creature doesn't seem to be following me anymore, so... At least I have that temporarily managed. This might become like Tremors, where I need to stay in the buildings, though, <laughs> around my base, till I figure out a better way to manage all that. But really, what I want to find, I want to find more of those dogs. Because uh, well, that's one of the requirements for moving forward here. And also, I need, I need more pale berries. Ooh. That's, that's a dog. Let's do this. Oh, I'm swimming. So I can swim underwater. Get over here. I ain't done with you. Alright, got him. I need to... F oh, we got a little crash site here. Or something. You know what? When in doubt, hit it with a chainsaw. I think that's a proverb somewhere, right? Okay, it doesn't look like that's... Oh, I can kind of just walk through it. That's weird. Okay. I guess that's just that. We're going to keep going in this direction. So we do have a giant bendy tree, which is kind of cool. I kind of want to get on top of it and get a, a kind of a view of our surroundings here. Uh-oh. I get more than one of them? Or just the one? Got him. I still hear growling. What's this? Got him. Green power slug? Cool. Got it. Alright, I got a green power slug. That's friggin' awesome. Well, we got some more doggos down there. Well, it's a little bit of a far drop, and I'm not sure how to get back up. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go... stick to our plan here and see if we can get up this real fast. Doesn't look like it, but it also looks like I could probably get back up this way. So you know what? We're gonna go down. Down to the pit. Good. Oh, this guy's got a little case of the zoomies. Hey. Oh. Hey, zoomie boy. There we go. Oh, God. I'm in trouble. We lived. And we're going to celebrate by eating some berries. That was a little close. I'm erasing my pale berry process here. Oh! Nice ragdoll effect. So yeah, when those things get the zoomies, they're a little more dangerous, I gotta say. Lots of vegetation in this area. I mean, it is a forest. I guess you'd expect that, right? How are we doing on carapaces? Five of them? We need, what, ten? We can keep going, I think. We 
we keep going down, down, down. Well, this is going back towards home, so that should help us. We're not trying to stray too far on this first run. I just want to kind of explore the, you know, surrounding area. What is this? That does not look like... Oh, 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 okay. The, uh, that looks more dangerous than the dog. At four health, I don't know if I'm ready to mess around with that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pull back a little bit here. You know, I'm happy with the current state of my haul. Let's see if we can get a little closer to home. Oh, there's another dog somewhere. Oh, pelberries. Snag those. And you know what? Realistically, I'm probably not. Oh, there's another one. Come on, come on. Realistically, I'm probably not gonna like go back through this area. Is that it? So maybe I should just kind of mine those pale berries. Yeah, that guy's kicking out some serious gas over there. So let's give him a nice wide berth. I think we're starting to retrace our steps a little bit. Now, I haven't died yet, which hopefully is not foreshadowing. Oh, more pale berries. Well, this will help me not die. This is a nice little pale berry mecca. All right, awesome. That should help quite a bit. I just gotta make sure I don't get gibbed. Plus three. All right, this is a good find. And then I can see the elevator over there, so I know I'm close to home. This is a nice little find. I hear some noise over there though, and I just can't help myself. But first, let's get all these berries. Oh, hi. And let's get away from that poison guy. And this should be enough for now. Yeah, I don't know if these are renewable or not, but I'm gonna hope they are. And kind of just act accordingly. So let's go and smash some berries real fast. So you, just, you can pretty much get health as fast as you can click. Okay, maybe not that fast, but it sure seemed like it. And we still got 15 berries in our hand. I wonder if that's like a waterfall? Yeah, we got a pillberry floating in the air there. It's getting louder. Oh, it's the running stream there. Oh yeah, so it's like a little rapids right by our base. So that's where that water leads off to. Flows down river. And hopefully I don't send myself plummeting to my death here. There's the waterfall. Pretty cool. Also got to be careful not to get bopped by a dog or anything like that while I'm over in this area. Let's keep going. We need more... We need more dog hides, right? So let's go find us some more dog hides. Renewed. With extra health. Ah, there we go. This guy... Alright, these two I'm gonna have to be kind of careful with. I definitely don't want to get popped like that. Okay. He's got the zoomies. Alright. Ranged weapon would be... Really nice. I will say. Okay, we're gonna go and... Oh, yeah, so I was carrying my momentum into him out of hopes that basically he wouldn't be able to... Oh, bye-bye. I don't know if they take fall damage, but if they do, he's probably dead. So, getting a little in-game lag. I think it's because we're just seeing new areas pop in, and it's kind of needing to preload. Oh, whoa, that was scary. That was scary. Uh, looks like a little bit of a dead end here. Now, in the interest of not, you know, not having a way back home, I'm gonna kind of double back here. Oh, what's this over here? You see that up there? 
Let's see if there's a way. It looks like there is a little way over there. Let's see if we can get there. Yeah, it's like it, it kind of stalls out a little bit whenever you're loading a new area. You know, going between zones, as it were. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, I'm okay. So let's climb up this. See what this direction has to offer. I hope that little... Oh, what is this? So say, uh, oh, it's a pure iron ore. Sweet. Just what I need. More iron ore. I say that now jokingly, but I know for a fact later I'm going to need it. Let's keep going this way. Now if I f find another one of those uh, kind of weird looking things, then... You know, I'm in a, a position to try and fight it off. Where is that? Thought it was over here. Let's go around this way. So I don't know if this is just my setup or if it's just early access and the game's got some performance issues. I'm gonna, oh God, I'm gonna hope it's the ladder. Oh yeah? Is that so? That's so satisfactory. Okay. Can't can't tell me what to do. This is probably a bad idea. Nope. Actually it was a great idea. Ooh, I am long way from home. And we can almost get over here. Huh. Lots of flowers. And ominous music. Seriously, listen to this. three of them. Four? Oh, God. All right. Might have bit off a little more than I can chew. I am getting... All right. Let's finish one of them off. Oh, come on. All right. Now they, they don't have as much mo movement around this area. It's one down. Come here. Got him. All right, that was a little, it's a little dangerous. We get all four, is that only three? One of them uh, just hanging out over here. Come on, let's go, let's go. Got him, I want that slug. I don't know what the slug does, I just want it. Oh. Cool. Bingo. Got some different trees over here, that's for sure. Another slug. More berries. Excellent. And spiders! Lovely. Love spiders. Why wouldn't there be spiders? Come here. Ow! Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Not done with you yet. All right, they don't really give me anything. They're just there to be spiders and make me hate them. My concern is these are small spiders. There might be a big spider. 
and given you know their ability to hit me without too much of an issue I'm going to not progress in that direction but I think we got what we came for right 12 carapaces 22 berries you know what sometimes you just gotta take your gains and leave you know it's like the opposite of what my stocks are doing right now instead I am taking my losses and holding on to them so, but that's another topic. So let's just, let's get back home and see if we can get a little more work done here. Yeah, look at that space over here. It's friggin' huge. That's so cool. I love the scale of this game. Really do. Also, I i mean, it's just a constant reminder that I need to build up. One day, I want to be on top of that space elevator. Oh. So we have this. Let's uh, get the handy-dandy chainsaw out, because I can't see. There we go. So this is a way just kind of over all of this. Flippin' cool. Let's put this back on, because I don't know if that little creature is going to keep harassing me. I don't even know if I can do anything about it, honestly. Oh, that is... This is not looking like the smart way down. So I'm going to go around. It might be a case for me just, like, building a lookout tower. And kind of riding it down that way. I hope that thing just left me alone. I swear I didn't mean anything. I encroached on his home and he took it personally. So yeah, we already we still have that iron deposit and this iron deposit. Like we are stacked on iron. Let's get back over here. Let's go and see if we can get this research kind of kicked off. Go back over here to the ma'am. Oh, I have a couple different options. Green power slug. Alien carapace. Well, that was what I was there for originally. So let's, let's stay focused. Why is it? Oh, that's because I'm grabbing the wrong item. There we go. Begin analysis. So this is going to be a 12-minute analysis. And what will probably happen is, between episodes, I'll just complete a couple different analyses. And from there, I will do... I'll get an, give an overview at the beginning of the next episode. All right, well, we've let this guy run for a little while. Let's. So while I was gone, let's see what was made for me. We got 500 plates. Right on the dot, 500 plates. 500 rods, so productivity production is even. And I could turn this into an advanced production unit, kind of like I have over here. But I didn't. So what do we got here? So we're getting cables out the wazoo. So that's, if you'll notice this setup, we have this copper going in here, which is being constructed into these cables. So we've got 1500 some cable and then a comparable amount of or sorry that was wire and a comparable amount of cable so I don't know while I'm sure I need a lot of these resources I want to kind of save some power here so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut these guys off yep it's going to trip the circuit breaker which is fine I'm going to shut it all off and We'll leave that circuit broken. So that's off. While we're here, we'll go ahead and restock it. Eh, we don't have enough biofuel to restock it. We'll restock it later. That's what to do for later on. Well, we got lots of materials there. They're not really doing anything at the moment, but we'll probably need them. We're going to let these run for a little longer 
And I'm going to go and trip the circuit breaker here as well. So let's go and pop this off. Pop this off. That exclamation mark is just inviting me to go look at it. I'm going to let the concrete run. I, I know we need concrete. So let's go back to the hub. Object scanner, Barry. We needed two. We have 22. Fantastic. Slam that launch button. Oh, I thought Ada was going to tell us something. So what did that do? I mean, tier one is done. Tier two. As you can see, I got the obstacle clearing tier two done. That's where the chainsaw came from. And it also gave me inventory slots. So we might, uh, we might be able to kind of walk through a lot of these. Maybe all of them. Let's, let's go and clear some inventory real fast and... Let's see what automation is doing for us right now, because we have a lot of resources. Crude oil. We have a lot of resources that we can kind of leverage right now, which is cool. Let's sort. Let's sort here. Yeah, I didn't figure out what I want. So let's just take like a bunch of these and a bunch of these. Uh, we can restock them later. This is my copper wire. You know, we'll just pull it straight from... Oh, well, that's the iron. I need the copper, which is over here. We're going to take a bunch of cable. We got the room. Why not, right? And then... That's where the cable is. Grab some of these. That'll be good. Let's see what we can make. Let's do that one. Parts assembly. This will be some interesting items to explore, I'm sure. One, two, three, one, two, three and slam that launch button milestone reach more complex assembly of parts can now be automated so i think this is going to allow us if we go look let's go look at one of our constructors over here where to go oh, i missed it it's taken off we go look at one of my constructors, which I believe is this. Look at recipes. Did nothing. Okay. Thanks for nothing. And actually, I don't have an equipment bench set up because I kind of moved a bunch of stuff. So let me get one of those up real quick. Equipment workshop. Oh, assembler. That's a good reason to... Not really work all that well. Okay, so we don't want to block that. Can we do this? How about over here? This'll do. Chainsaw beacon. Object scanner. Xeno zapper. Is that what I already have? 75 portable miners. I think I'm good. At some point, I should probably make this, right? What's this? Three beacons? Let's make that, I guess. What does this allow me to do? So I've got an object scanner now. I guess that's cool. What else do we got here? We go to the hub terminal. So the milestone's not... That thing's not coming back for another four minutes. So while that's happening, let's take a look at this new structure that we have which is under production the assembler crafts two parts into another part so you have raw materials which then form basic parts and then you put when you want to put multiple parts together you do it via an assembler 
I don't know. What am I missing? Modular frame and rotor. Am I running into a bit of a chicken and an egg problem here? What's, what's going on? Because I know I need rotors over here. Do I have to find a rotor? Because I found it in the alpha. Well, you know what? Let's go to this thing. Is this looking for reinforced iron plates and rotors? And unfortunately, the hub is, you know, kind of paywalled right now, or time-walled. Ma'am, it's got about four minutes left as well. While this is going on, let's go and start looking at the walls, honestly. Or do we not have the walls yet? Foundation, walls. Now oh, we have all kinds of walls. Just a bevy of walls to choose from. And they take plates and concrete for the most part, it looks like. Most of it is like, do you want a door? Do you not want a door? We can add, oh, it's to put conveyors in. So we can put conveyors through the wall. Conveyor perpendicular to the wall. It's kind of cool. Wall. Okay. So how do we add a different floor? Stairs left, stairs right. I mean, do you really just have floating foundation? Is that all? You know, before I get into verticality too much, I feel like I should get some more upgrades. I'm not going to fall into the trap of building and rebuilding and building and rebuilding. Or Actually, I take that back. I've already fallen into that trap. I'm going to try to limit how often I fall into that trap. So we're going to go and just make sure I look through the rest of my options and I'm not missing anything major. Yeah, craft bench. Maybe the craft bench? Maybe that's how I'm going to put together some rotors here. It makes sense that, you know, yeah. Mm, I guess it could make sense that you build it first. Yeah, sure. Sure thing. Okay. So we need screws. That's our problem. Good news is I can make a ton of screws and they get built really fast. But this is an automation opportunity without a doubt. So I will have to kind of get to that. But man, I think faster belts would be awesome. You know, last time I... I asked for a way to clear brush and voila chainsaw so now my big thing is faster belts because the math is starting to really not add up in some of these situations and a faster belt i believe would help resolve that so we need some rotors let's build like oh, a whole bunch of them and modular frame what do we need for that oh just the reinforced plate okay yeah, you need screws for everything. Jeez. Yeah, I need to get that automated. That is quickly becoming a high priority. Let's get 10 of these modular frames up. Oh, there's my uh, jet engine. I hear it coming in. And then we should hopefully be able to just kick off another upgrade while we kind of poke around here. We got rotors, we got that. I'm gonna get some reinforced iron plates because that seems to be commonly needed. And of course, I'm blowing through my screw reserve here. That'll be good for now. This is back. Jump pads. That's kind of cool. Walkways. And a color gun. Paint, factory, buildings, and vehicles can be adjusted prior to painting. That's cool. Let's do jump pads first. Select that. Put this guy in here. This in here. Here. And we need more rods. Good news is... We know where we can get them, right? Do I? Kind of. Plates. Wrong again. Rods. Fantastic. Let's pull these guys out. While we're here, let's pull the plates out. And while that's all going on... It's becoming abundantly clear that I need to turn this back on. Absolutely need to turn this back on. Power on. Power on. Flip the breaker. We're back in business. Oh, 
Overshot it. Sorry about that. Go here. Here. Sort. Slam that launch button. Milestone reach. Buildings aimed at factory traversal, including several different categories of jump pads, can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. I'm sure that nothing will go wrong. All right, Air alien carapace has been analyzed. R&D has repurposed a common engineering tool to assist you in your defense against the local wildlife. The blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 3. Well, I don't have Hub Tier 3. Uh, green power slug? Green power slug. Time left. Five minutes. Let's... Man, I, all right, I really want to take a look at what we can build with this assembler. There we go. I'm just going to drop one down real fast. So yep, reinforced plates, rotors, modular frame. Nothing that new, but it definitely starts to add to the complexity of setting up these factory chains. So this is where I'm going to leave off. Uh, we've got kind of a few things in the oven here. And we'll be finishing up Hub Upgrade 2 before too long. There's nothing that exciting. Uh, I don't think we're going to... There's going to be any major, you know, expositions as a result of me finishing these either offline or in a bonus episode format. But we did a lot here. We managed to kind of leave our little home, get chased by an invisible demon, and, you know, go big game hunting out in the wildlife and be big game hunted by a weird deer looking thing. And on top of that, got a lot of stuff built, a lot of stuff's being produced. You know, we are becoming very, very productive. That's good. Things are starting to come together a little bit, but I, I do sense there is another session worth of just kind of reshuffling everything coming up. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And until next time, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe. And until I hear from you again, I hope you have a good rest of your day, week, month, year, and life. This is Weems signing off.